What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and I got another super sweet treat to bring you the folks. Uh, this one you saw in a video when it came in from Texas, 1997 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series, one of the last town cars built for 1997. The birthday on this car is September 19th, 1997. First week of October, they started producing the 98 model years for the public. You're buying one of the last ones made. 12,000 mile car, almost 13,000 miles. Uh, Texas car its whole life, absolute stunner. You can own it. Down in the description below, link to the Bring a Trailer auction site. This car is being sold at absolutely no reserve. Last bidder will own this 1997 Lincoln Town Car. Could be you. Let's take a walk around, let's take a look at it and uh, take a look at the auction when you're all done. Thanks. Here she is, beautiful radiant silver 1997 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series. Uh, this car is a really, really nice piece. Right up from uh, Texas. This car lived in Texas its whole life. It's got just under 13,000 original miles on it. And there's not a spot of rust on it. This car is in such amazing condition. Uh, it's actually quite nice to see one like this because these cars <laughs> were very popular in the day and to see them survive like this, uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's like going into a time machine. Now, this is a very unique car um, because a few things, actually. Uh, this is a very, very late 1997 Lincoln Town car. By late, I mean late production. Uh, the birthday of this car was September 19th of 1997 uh, just about a week later they were already making the 98 model years uh, so this is one of the last 97 town cars of this iconic square body style uh, this particular style ran from 95 through 97 uh, but the essentially the 90 to 97 body style this was one of the last ones made and this one survived and it's nice that it's not a base model or a beige car uh, you know, it's a really nicely appointed signature series, beautiful silver with gray leather. Uh, another unique feature is the wheels on this car. Uh, these are what are considered spring edition wheels. These wheels weren't even in the catalog um, when you uh, went into the dealership for 97. Uh, the dealership brochures did not show these wheels. This was a spring edition wheel. And ironically, this car was built in the fall. So because this is one of the last ones built, uh, usually what Ford or GM or anybody does is try to use up old stock. And I believe that's why you see these wheels on the car. I even have a full-size matching spare in the trunk. But let's take a look at how crisp and clean this car is. All the lines on this car are absolutely perfect. Um, the gaps are beautiful paint is very vibrant on this car and you can tell even though this car was a texas car it definitely lived inside because all the headlights are crystal clear the chrome is in really nice shape Has the original Ford laminated windshield. No chips or cracks there.
1997 was the only year that this was not a flip open lock. And this is in really nice shape. Usually those start to delaminate. Original painted pinstripe down both sides of the car. There is a small blemish right on the wheel well opening there. Uh, you can see these spring edition wheels. Shows very, very minor corrosion just on the, some of the face of the caps. Brand new Uniroyal Tiger Paw tires. Pinstripe all down the side here, nice and consistent. Heated side view mirrors. No dings, no dents. 1997, they also put the Signature Series insignia there instead of on the quarter panels, uh, the quarter windows, I should say. Does have an aftermarket black stay fast canvas top. It's in very, very nice shape. All the stitching shows very, very well on this car. The seams, there's no separation in any of the seams. The finish trim on the back here all around the window and even all the uh, fake button snaps are in really nice shape. Again on this side, beautiful painted pinstripe. Uh, Lincoln did one single stripe where Cadillac Usually did a dual stripe. Canvas top. There is one small spot, you can see it right there, of some type of maybe sap that got on the roof. Hey, little buddy. Very small scratch right there, and then there's one right here on the bumper. And these are the uh, spring edition wheels as the flat disc cap, and very minor corrosion just on a few of the spokes. Uh, all inside the wheel wells, nice and clean. Brand new tires, those were just installed about a month ago. Side view mirror, no scuffs or chips. All the chrome is in very nice shape all the way around the windshield, all around all the glass trim. Uh, the keyless entry keypad works. A very, very small little nick there. Another 15 inch Uniroyal Tiger Paw. Very deep tread. You can just see how clean this car is, even in the wheel wells. One other small blemish is a minor scratch right there on the deck lid. But yeah, she's an absolutely beautiful 1997 Lincoln Town car. Take a look inside the 97 Lincoln Town car. The wood trim is in very, very nice shape. Has uh, dual power seats, memory seat setting. Even the uh, printing on the buttons aren't show anywhere. Speaker grills are in really nice shape. Leather is super soft. All the leather wrapped steering wheel, you can still feel the grain and the pulp in like the leather here. You can see how the texture is still there. It's not worn off. Dash pad, perfect. Even the carpeting, in super, super nice shape. And you can see here, a date of manufacture, 9 of 97 and the actual date was the 19th got both sets of keys a 
I do like these guys, how they flip open here. Better than this back seat. I would say this car has probably hardly had a backseat passenger just by how clean uh, the carpeting is. Uh, these, both these doors are uh, fastened shut. Very common for these two springs to break off the back. And really there's no other way to repair them. Uh, so most of the time I just fasten them shut so they don't flop open every time you open close the rear door. Now the neat thing with this 1997 is it has the rear cup holders in the center armrests. Not every town car has them in 97. Uh, I think 97 was the only year of this body style to have them. It's funny they add stuff like that but they took away other things uh, like the seat back straps and a few other minor details inside the jam super super clean carpeting this carpet really didn't even need to be shampooed I just ran my extractor over it real quick uh, just to make some nice patterns in it and give it that real crisp look Very, very soft in this car. Rear door panel is the same. Very, very clean. That is fast and closed. Your window switches, all the caps are present. So just very, very perfect. Chrome and all the trim. Anodizing is still on all the latches. I love the dashboards in these cars, how they wrap around and then tie into the uh, door panels. Power seats work, windows, no compartments in there. Again, all the speaker grill is in phenomenal shape. On this side, carpeting is beautiful. It does have an accessory outlet there. Power recliner, oh, that's the lumbar, this is the recliner. These guys flip up. do have uh, all three keys, the two original jewel keys, remotes, and then the valet key. Start up here. Mileage is 12,919 original miles. Have all the dealer pamphlets or brochures, uh, even the original key card or keyless entry code, uh, factory owner's manual, uh, Michelin tire guide, and there's a warranty information packet. It still has this tag here. Uh, we'll tuck that back in. Uh, automatic climate control. Let's see that air conditioning blows ice cold. Air defrost. Radio is JBL sound. Unity. Local businesses are the The button still works. Very rare to see that. Center mounted clock. Auto dimming. Rear view mirror. Truck here. Fuel cap.
inside the trunk of the car. You can see a nice deep trunk well. I do have all four original floor mats and even an untouched uh, matching full-size aluminum spring edition wheel with a brand new Michelin XW4 tire, the proper tire cover, original owner's matching umbrella, original license plate from the car. This is a dealer brochure here. And then this is a new in the package uh, Lincoln front license plate bracket. I assume someone did not want a front plate on this car. Trunk matting is in super nice shape. Even underneath the trunk is finished nicely. This is the remnants here of actually a quality control stamp. It would have an inspector's name and they inspected as the car went down the line. And this is right on the gasket here. So I'm actually surprised that that one is still there. It's nice to see that it's still exists. Pull down works perfectly. 4.6 liter V8. Uh, this car has all been freshly serviced. A lot of preventative maintenance has been done to this car uh, to get it ready for sale. Uh, a lot of people who know these cars know that they had a defective intake manifold from Ford. It had a plastic crossover. Uh, it was not cracked yet, but it was still original. Ford did recall these and the recall was never done. Uh, I see that quite often. The cruise control recall has been done. Uh, but I, I had a new intake manifold put in to be uh, just on the safe side because eventually it will crack uh, with the original plastic crossover. So you can see that there, all fresh coolant. Battery is about one year old. All the hood insulation is nice and clean. Got tore up. See all the gold anodizing on the bolts. Definitely a Texas car. Let's uh, let's start it up. Whisper quiet. Air conditioning blows cold. Works. Everything works in this car. Take it for a spin. All right, behind the wheel of 97 Town Car, we're going to take this car for a spin. Uh, a few of the other preventative things that I did to this car, had done, uh, was all four window motors. Very common for these to uh, the gears inside to break and when they break uh, it almost acts like it needs a new motor but it really just needs to be rebuilt uh, one of them was defective when i acquired the car uh, so it had all four done uh, like i said four brand new tires as well uh, it had the original michelin tires on it which uh, were in very bad shape uh, a lot of dry rot on them and uh so four new tires um the intake manifold has been changed and updated to the newer version. Uh, the uh, upper and lower ball joints, very common for the boots to tear on those, just from age to deteriorate, those have been replaced as well. Uh, so this car really, just a lot of preventative stuff to make it turnkey. And uh, when they're turnkey like this, they're a super enjoyable ride. Very quiet, glides down the road nicely. No pulsations or anything in the brakes, no pulling. Go from a red light here. Shifts the 
all the gears nice and smooth. Nineteen ninety seven Lincoln Town Car undercarriage. All the floors and everything are in really nice shape on this car. Texas car since new and you can see all the lines and everything. Airbags are in great shape. It does have a new fuel pump. The frame is all black, floors. Some chalk marks. That airbag, also a nice shape. No dry rot. Brand new tires. There it is, folks. There's the 97 Town Car. Take a look at the auction. Uh, it's going to be sold absolutely no reserve. The link is down in the description of my YouTube video here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. Uh, I'd like to see what this special Lincoln Town Car does. Uh, I hope one of my YouTube subscribers are the uh, is going to be the high bidder. We'll see what happens. Anyways, my name is Anthony, 978 930 1004. If you have any questions about the car, you want to reach me directly, that's how you can. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have about this 97 town car. We'll see you at the end of the auction. We'll see how it does. And uh, hey, you might be the next owner.